Spence. Yeah, man. You ready to fish the tuck? I'm ready, baby. All right. You wearing your slippers? Yeah, I am. That's 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 what I float in. They're waterproof. They don't look it. But uh huh. All right. Here we are at the Tuck of CG. About to get some float tubes blown up. Last year we floated this, and at the end of the section there are class four rapids. There's one spot where you can go down and you're okay. But if you go to the other side, it's really treacherous. And I actually went down that side instead. So my only goal today is to not go down those rapids. We shall see. All right, let's blow up some tubes. All right, John, last few days of the Raven Fork, pretty rough. What are you hoping for today? Keep my expectations low. I'm, ex I'm hoping for five fish. Five fish. Five fish. All right, you heard it. Dude, where's my wedding belt? I don't know. Okay, thanks. Yeah, man. If I don't have this thing, look like a dang potato sack. I mean, I still look good. Look <laughs> I know I look good. What you got there, Steve? Brown trout. Oh, geez, there you go. All right. You saw it. You saw it. It was there in the net. All right. Hey Steve, what's going on in there, man? Shut up, man. I'm stuck. I didn't see it. You, you didn't see the ginormous tree <laughs> in the middle of the river? I was fishing. Leave me alone. All right. Good luck. going good man got yeah. a lot of fish yeah we, caught, we had a good day brown trout rainbow trout did you catch a brookie no brookie no i caught like 17 chubs you did you, you caught that a grand slam yeah that's that worked <laughs> broke my rod oh yeah what you mean you broke your rod john well steve I had a fish on that line stripped out got wrapped around the tree and some rapids and then the rest is history oh. didn't, didn't lose my flies though or the fish but you lost the tip but I lost the tip of my rod. That's impressive. Yeah. All right, man. Good day. Float of the tuck. One last stop. We're gonna wade up here, up in Dillsboro, North Carolina. So, let's go get it. Broke my crap off. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's got one. <laughs> kind of typical. No idea he's got a fish on. <laughs> Shut up, John. Fish is a fish. That's right. Doesn't matter how you get it in. Oh, oh look at oh, it. It's a fighter. This is a 30 inch fish. There it is. 30 inches. In all yes, its sir. glory. Oh, 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 oh. No. Hold Stay it. Still. Hold Stay it still. over the net. Stay still. Oh, look, look at that guy. That. Man, it's a colored up. Okay. He's still on the fly. Don't worry about okay, it. We got it. We got it. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Man, you are the worst. Look at that. There we go. Nice. Uh. 
All right, so that completes the slam for you. Yep, grand slam for me, grand slam for you. Yeah, Been actually, out here, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, 10, 10 minutes or so. Whew. Yeah, I think, uh, I think grand slam is different than just a slam. I don't know. Oh. Well, we got three different species of slam. I think I got a super slam. Time. Yeah, you're, you're the best slam. That's right. All right. Man, Upper Tuckasegee was fantastic. How many fish did you catch? 20-ish. 20-ish? I think I got 90-ish. Yeah, probably. No, but we, got, we caught a lot of stinking fish. It was a good way to end the day. All right, bye.